We apologize for any inconvenience that may have been caused by your broken blaster. Please see enclosed a new Adventure Force Thundershot along with some extra darts. As always, we appreciate all your support. Sincerely, Busby Toys. Well, thank you, Busby. Let's discuss. Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and let's jump back into the world of Busby. But first, let's get everyone re-familiarized with the situation, because there are some people who probably don't know what's going on, and some people who have completely forgotten, and both are completely understandable. So Busby released a lot of blasters in the summer of 2021. Well, not too many, maybe like four. And two of those were very interesting to me, that being the Tetra Shot and the Thunder Shot. The Tetra Shot was... Okay, it seemed to function as described, even though it would have been really cool if it had been a four-shot shotgun, chain-fed, uh, had potential. I like the colors of it, I like the general feel, even if it was a little cheap, the size and the look of it was pretty good. But very low performance, and at 25 bucks, I don't know if I'd recommend it to people. The Thundershot, well, was kind of similar. It looked kind of cool. It had a very unique shell, eight round capacity. So that was somewhat promising, but kind of ruined by ergonomics and low-ish performance, not the worst performance perhaps. Oh, and it was also defective. Yeah, that was kind of a big deal. The Thundershot that was hitting store shelves was breaking. So this was a pretty universal thing. And I even opened up my Thundershot to confirm the signs of stress were already there. It was going to break, which was really weird because upon further inspection, the first review samples sent to Mongoose Jake were actually a very different blaster on the inside. So it kind of left us wondering, what happened? Why are we getting different blasters and what's Busby going to do about this? So that led to my previous video where I talked about my experiences with those blasters. I, leading up to it, showed that I could use them in a game and in the right situation and with the right amount of skill and persistence and dumb luck, you too could get tags. But in the back of my mind, I was at least hopeful that Busby was going to look at it and hopefully fix it, because I hadn't seen any public statements from them regarding the issue. The persistent, common issue that people were finding in retail products from Walmart under the Adventure Force line. So upon my Thundershot breaking, what came next? Well, I made another video about it. It wasn't the most positive. I'm a very positive guy, obviously. I like to have fun. It's all in jest. Sometimes it's in jest. <laughs> and because in my previous video too, when I showed the internals of said blaster, Busby liked my post which basically called them out for questionable internals, I didn't see that as the most positive way to interact with their customers. I also then posted the follow-up. It was inevitable, I guess. Hey Busby. Hey Adventure Force brand, do you have any good versions of the Thundershot lying around? Would be nice to get a blaster that doesn't break so easily. Thank you. Now this time, of course, I did explicitly tag Busby and Adventure Force to see if that would prompt any discussions. I posted that the night after I came back from a small event, and within like an hour, Adventure Force DM'd me. They said, hello, thank you for being an Adventure Force fan. We are sorry to hear you are having issues with the Thundershot Blaster. For the fastest resolution, we recommend exchanging this product at your nearest Walmart for replacement. I said, hi there, thanks for reaching out so quickly. Uh, I will see about doing that. And they said, you're welcome. Please let us know if you experience any further issues. Have a great day. Now, not long after as well, the following day, within like 12 hours of that original post, uh, Busby also commented, on said post. What they said was, we are sorry to hear that the dart blaster broke. Please DM us and will we take care of this issue? Thank you. <laughs> Almost. So close. Uh, Adventure Force messaged me again and they said, hello, the distributor is aware of the issue and has fixed all production. If you could please fill out the information below, we will have a replacement blaster sent to you. Again, we apologize for the inconvenience. I was happy at least it was clear I was going to be getting a new blaster and then I could see what the differences were because I haven't been able to find literally any of them in my area. I don't know why. But there was one more piece of correspondence that I got not too long after that. And it was from someone at Busby officially via email. I'm not going to say her name, um, but she is in the marketing department there. She said, we have seen your posts slash reviews over the years and most recently, the ones on the Adventure Force Thundershot and Adventure Force Tetrashot. Oh no. <laughs> I know that we have worked with you in the past, and I believe that we sent you product in exchange for your honest reviews. Yep, that sounds about right. We saw your post where your Adventure Force Thundershot broke. We are very sorry that happened, and we would like to send you out a new one along with some darts. 
Also, if you would like to review any of our other fall items or new fall items, we would be more than happy to send them to you as well. Please let me know, and if you have any other comments or questions in the future, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your posts and reviews. So I thought that was a very kind, um, positive email. It didn't seem like that was going after me like, hey, we see what you've been posting, Brett. We gotta talk, because that's always my concern when people say, hey, we saw your video, and I'm like, what video? Well, which one are you talking about? It was nice to see her referencing things of the past as well. I've gotten stuff from Busby in the past. I've said nice things about Busby. I've said constructive things about Busby. Obviously, that's what this note came from, and that's what that blaster came from. But before we get to those, I know, I know, I want to talk about the blaster too. There are a few more things that have come since the time of all of the critiques on the Adventure Force Thundershot that I would like to address. Just a few main ones where people have been commenting on the commentary. Oh, Brett, it's just a $10 blaster. It's a literally a budget blaster. You can't complain about a cheap product like that. You should stop being so mean about a cheap product. Or you can't cancel Busby for making one mistake. If we cancel the company for making one mistake, there'd be no toy companies left. Therefore, you can't say mean things about Busby. Or of course, the overarching one. Guys, these are some unprecedented times. The pandemic has affected us all in many, many ways. Be nice to Busby. Clearly, they've been having issues, and this is all as a result of the pandemic, therefore, it's okay. There might be some truth to that. I know the pandemic is still affecting many things in many different ways. Getting a toy is not a high priority. That's not entirely an excuse for your 2021 catalog because Busby is, matter of fact, just not making as many toys as a company like Nerf or even Dart Zone for that matter, at least as far as I can tell. So when their releases are a little questionable, it's very noticeable. And I'm sorry if the pandemic has impacted that. I wish it didn't impact that. I wish it didn't impact a lot of stuff. I don't know the inner workings of that full system, but that's what I'm reviewing it as, a reviewer. Also to that end, no one's trying to cancel Busby. We're just looking to provide feedback, constructive criticism, honest reviews. We have found a defective product. Do you want us to be quiet about that? If it's a universal problem, don't you expect enough people making some noise will elicit the proper response? Because to the first point, you're right. It's a cheap product. This blaster right here is 10 United States dollars. That's very cheap. That's very affordable. Awesome. But if it's a defective product, it's a defective product. If you're watching this video, you're probably aware that there is a difference between these, this Thundershot and the one behind me that involves the trigger not moving or moving upon priming the blaster. So you could be knowledgeable and go out to the store and check which blaster is which. But the average consumer doesn't know that. So the goal is to get the bad stuff off the shelves and the good stuff on the shelves. Good. Again, you know, it's all relative in this case. Enough people making enough noise is hopefully what will help prompt that. Did reviewers actually help? Like, did my reviews help push Busby in that direction? I don't know, probably not. Because for a $10 budget blaster to have this happen, good that we're attacking that problem. Imagine if this was a $60 product and then more people were spending even more money in these unprecedented, unexpected times, you know, all the pandemic buzzwords where money actually is an issue. If you're looking to spend a reasonable amount of money to get a cheaper product, this could be the one for you, but it's never going to be the one for you if it's a defective product. So no, I don't think it's inappropriate to say things like that when that's what I've been finding on store shelves. Was that a rant? Anyway, you're not here for those opinions, or maybe you are. You're here to see that guy. So that's what I got from Busby. Of course, I already took it out of the package and started testing before this video, but upon first glance, it should look pretty much the exact same. And why wouldn't it? I mean, they're both thunder shots with a few differences. And yes, I have labeled my one that broke with <laughs> the broken one. Also, maybe you can tell that the newer one has a slightly glossy finish on the cylinder where the original one did not. It's uh, kind of noticeable. It's pretty easy to see in person, but again, to someone not looking for it, not noticeable at all. Here is the newer version. So we know that the hammer assembly should be separate from the trigger when it comes to catching. And yes, that is true. It would have been really, really funny 
in a sick and twisted kind of way if that didn't happen. Here's a dry fire, sorry. Upon my first testing as well, this seems to be hitting a tad bit harder. I will throw up some chronograph results. Um, I'm not getting exactly what I was hoping to see. I thought I was gonna get around the 70s, but I am getting in the mid 60s. And I apologize in my original video, I didn't include chronograph testing there. I did actually test it, and then I got frustrated with the Tetra shot and I removed all of it, so. Nice, but if you reference other sources, it was about 50 to 60 FPS. This one's, you know, hitting a little bit higher than that, pretty noticeable, that's not crazy higher. Still, acceptable for a hammer prime blaster like this. Let's look at the differences between the cylinder. But you can see that the access is still the same. There's two on each side, the outside and the inside. So the original Thundershot, really easy to load these when they are open. They slide in really, really easily, and I was really happy about that when I first got the Thundershot. It was pretty easy to reload this on the go. The newer one's a little bit different. So you can see the outside is the same kind of geometry, but then look inside. There's no actual barrel. The inserts for the barrel, where the previous one had it, are not there, which is kind of bizarre to me. I don't know why they did that, and it's definitely the same for every single barrel. The dart posts are like down here. You know what the worst part about this new one is? The effective barrel isn't until the very bottom. Sometimes you'll have to push a little bit more to fit it into place. Other cylinder differences I've found, good and bad. This is the old Thundershot. There's actually more support inside the cylinders. There are four larger supports. And then on the newer one, there are a lot more recessed. I don't know why. But then a point to the newer one where you have the old Thundershot. This was something I missed in my original review and I didn't notice it until playing with it a little bit more. You can see the cylinder here, but I can push it pretty significantly if I want to. You see it poking out right there? That's not promising. I can do the same on this side too, but it seems to be more prevalent if I push it from the left. The newer one does have a little bit more support, but this one does seem to have plastic tabs on the left and on the right, which make it a little bit more difficult to push it out of alignment. There are definite pros in each one. Like this cylinder on its own is not a clear winner compared to this, to the point of I might take the cylinder from the old one and put it in the new blaster. But of course, the more important thing is the internals for the actual functionality of this blaster. And so far, it's true. They haven't broken, and I will be sure to investigate and see if they do over time. Here's one of the packs of darts. They, they sent me five of these again. These are 20 round packs. I don't know exactly what blaster these are gonna come with. And I think it's because a lot of people were complaining that the glue on the old darts was really significant, like gross. They were sticking together on every single Busby blaster, like the Tetra shot, because it had a lot of darts that came with it, or the trigger fire. You knew I was gonna do that. So I had a few of the other ones out just to compare and contrast. These ones are a lot more dome. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'll admit I'm not the biggest fan <laughs> of the Busby long distance darts. There isn't glue just, you know, protruding from the sides and getting sticky and sticking to themselves. As you can see, they're, they're fine. You know, they come apart nice and easy. There are no precise pro darts. Come on, Busby, bring these back. These are weird. These are the weirdest darts you've ever made and I love them. Oh, the Thundershot, what are we going to do with you? I don't know what is gonna come next. I'm not sure if they're going to commit to this design any further or if this is going to be the end of the Thundershot. If you have continued to see Thundershots in stores, hopefully they are the newest versions. Uh, what matters most now is that if you do happen to have a problematic Thundershot, i.e. the Rev Zeros, the defective models, something that breaks when you're firing it. If you do find that you break a newer version, perhaps this could work for you too. Let Busby know. Let Adventure Force know. Send them a DM on uh, Instagram. Send them an email, customer service. It sounds like they are actively ferrying complaints, uh, ferrying returns or replacements. So it seems like anyone who wants to get a replacement Thundershot can do that. I am happy that it seems like they're trying to make good on however this problem started. Hopefully this is the only time that we will see such a weird defective product, but I think we've made it very clear that we don't like when defective products come out and we will talk about them if they do. Please don't break. 
because I don't want to make a part three. What do you think of all this? What do you think of the Thundershot now? I know a lot of people have kind of come out to say that Busby hasn't been good in five years. I don't know if that's true. They've got some new blasters coming up that well, some of them look kind of cool. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I know this is a bit of a rambly video about my experiences and maybe you cared about it, maybe you didn't. I will see you next time with something uh, completely different.